Hi there and welcome to day 24, gosh time's flying past, day 24 of Write a Novella in 30 Days with me, Maria Franklin. If you haven't already, pop along to my website at www.mariafranklin.co.uk and bag yourself a free copy of a booklet I've written for you, which is called The Seven Secrets to Achieving Your Writing Dreams. And there's a few other freebies there to be had as well. Um, so pop along there and uh, sign yourself up for that. So this is the second session where we're dealing with editing. So yesterday we talked about tightening your writing um, and uh, today we're just going to extend on the editing process a little bit more. So as I have previously mentioned, editing should not usually be done whilst you're first drafting your work. Um, first draft stage is you as the writer telling the story to yourself basically. Uh, so there's not usually any need to concentrate on anything such as punctuation or layout or spelling. Um, you just need to be getting your story down and all your thoughts and ideas at this stage. Um, but because we're covering all the writing tools in these 30 days, it obviously needs touching on. So here we go. Um, I'm going to uh, give you my process that I use uh, right from planning. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about novels because uh, this is this, this is the process I use for writing uh, my novels, um, and uh, this is the process I use. So there's actually ten stages to it. There's probably a lot more because um, some of them do have to be repeated. And um, this is obviously with a novella. It's a slightly less uh, lengthy process. Um, I would suggest leaving a period of a few days between each of these, uh, the, the latter stages of this editing process as well. So stage one, uh, this is what I do as a writer, it's my, stage one is where I'm bashing down my ideas, notes and planning of the, the overall story. Stage two is that first draft that I've just mentioned. Uh, handwritten. Stage three is the typing up of that handwritten draft and at this point I start improving things so this could mean taking bits out i.e tightening writing or adding things in because editing also means adding bits in that have been perhaps glossed over. Um, stage four is then going back over this on the computer screen and improving it again. Um, using a checklist that I'm about to come to in a few moments. Stage five is then printing this off now, the whole manuscript, and annotating it with a pen, so usually in double line spacing, so I've got lots of room for scribble uh, on one side, and then I use the other side of the page to rewrite bits or add bits in that need adding in. Stage six is then taking these uh, handwritten annotations back to the computer again. Stage seven is reading that back through again, making more adjustments. Stage eight is then reading it aloud. You won't believe how much that highlights in terms of uh, inconsistencies, repetitions and all that, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Stage nine is a final proofread that I do of it. So long lengthy process is this. And then number 10, I finally hand it over to somebody else. Usually my, my husband is my first reader. Um, and then it goes off to beta readers and, uh, um, and professional editors and proofreaders. So it really is a lengthy process. You think that the hard work's done once you've got your first draft. Uh -uh. <laughs> so here's uh, an editing checklist. So again, I want you to print out an earlier novel, for, uh, an earlier novel, an earlier chapter from your novella. Um, and once you get to the end of your first draft, you will apply this to your whole entire novella, a section at a time. So firstly, deciding whether your novella has started in the right place, because we writers often launch in far too early, giving lots of description and backstory when really we need to launch in straight at a point of action. So that's your first line in chapter one. And we looked at story openings earlier. Uh, know what your novella is trying to achieve, its message, its journey, has it been successful in doing this? This relates back to our uh, day on endings, the resolution. Um, checking every word is the best it can be. Um, you can use the thesaurus here to help you, or you can use the cinnamons, I can never say that word, cinnamons function on your computer. Basically, you right click on a word and 
um, choose cinnamons. <laughs> Put in the comments if I'm saying that right or not. It's just one of those words I can never say and I usually get laughed at in class when I try to say it. Um, so every word counts, so make, make every word sing for its supper. Beware of overwriting, being too wordy, less is often more as we uh, as we discussed the other day. Um, so go easy with those adjectives, um, ensure consistency in terms of your viewpoint, your character details etc. Um, so often you, you'll start with a character, I've even changed names of characters part way through stories so and eye colour and all sorts of things so be consistent with that. Um, remembering that reading should be an active process, are you uh, allowing some gaps for readers to fill? That goes back again, we've had a, a session on that already. Wherever possible, making sure you're showing rather than telling, so going back over your work and making sure that you, you're doing that. Searching and getting rid of repetition. We really do often repeat words and phrases or ideas, often in the same paragraph and I've been guilty of this. Um, beware of redundancies, uh, by this I mean combine together, you know, a phrase like that, or commute back and forth. Um, so examine all the words you use and get rid of needless words. Have somebody else read your work, this is really, really important. Uh, ask them what questions are running through their mind as they read it. Um, are they sure of the location? Can they picture it? Um, can they identify which characters are, are doing the talking and the feeling? Um, another reader really can offer valuable feedback um, and this can, you know, this can help you bolster your descriptions a little bit um, to aid the reader's understanding of your story. Um, remembering that editing does not necessarily just mean cutting things, it can also mean bits that you've skipped over need some expansion. Um, so it's looking for uh, places where perhaps you've said such and such and such and such had an argument. Well, the reader doesn't want to know they had an argument. They want to have that played out or a telephone conversation or anything like that. So look out for instances of that in your novella and do something about them. Play them out in full. Allow your reader to come in and experience what's going on. So... As I've said, choose another chapter of your novella, an earlier one that's gone cold, um, to to apply that, that bit of a checklist to. Uh, keep going forward, another 500 to 1,000 words today. Uh, drop into the comments again, let me know how you're getting on. I love to hear how you're getting on. And uh, I will see you tomorrow where we're going to be talking about how to present your manuscript. And again, I know you won't be at that stage yet, but this is all stuff that you need to know for when you get there. So you might as well hear about it now and then forewarned is forearmed. So enjoy the uh, process today of uh, editing and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.